more resilient in the future. Most cities are giving away their industrial land right now to mixed use. We made our reputation as a city by doing that, but now we're being much more careful with the land that we have left because we're projecting that we're going to need it and we're going to want to expand it in the future. So it's a bit counterintuitive. We love mixed use. It's, it's the key to a lot of the things we're trying to achieve, but not always, not everywhere, and not at any cost. Uh, I want to talk briefly about the downtown east side, and then uh, and uh, then I'm going to wrap up. Uh, it's very hard to talk about resiliency without including social resiliency, which is a big part of this. And in the downtown east side, which is our most challenging area of the city to plan in by far, we have the issue of, of the downtown east side as a place. It's the birthplace of the city of Vancouver, the most uh, uh, important heritage area of the city of Vancouver. But at the same time, it's a place that has uh, some uh, completely unique concentrations and diversities of people, uh, ethnic diversity, uh, a high concentration of, of Native Canadians, and an awful lot of, uh, of issues relating to poverty and other issues, uh, other social issues. So as we're trying to plan for, for this area, which actually is made up of a series of neighborhoods uh, that don't all self-identify with the downtown east side, we've got to address this kind of place based place-based planning that reflects the inherent character of some of these neighborhoods. But at the same time, we're, we're facing fundamental issues relating to our concentration of mental health issues, drug addiction, and homelessness, all in an area that also, aside from these issues, has 10,000 low-income community people who aren't drug addicted, they're not homeless, and they don't have mental health issues. They're just uh, low-income. They're just poor. And many of them are working poor. And they don't want to be displaced in the context of revitalization. So as we institute our policy, which is called revitalization without displacement, an incredibly hard thing to actually do when you think about that. It's much easier to revitalize by displacing, which is what many cities have done, which just moves the problem around, obviously. And I don't even think the low-income community is a problem. They're a community. Uh, so, uh, how, you plan, how you integrate change into an area but while stabilizing the low-income community and addressing some of these mental health, drug addiction, and, and homelessness issues is a huge challenge. So, with that, I, I, I had some more, but I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, there's any number of, of things I could have talked about. I'll just end with this thought. Um, we, we talk about resiliency today. Uh, in Vancouver, uh, our new mayor, our relatively new mayor, uh, we're going into an election, uh, has challenged us with becoming the greenest city in the world by 2020. It's a very ambitious goal, and we believe that we can do it, or we're going to die trying. But uh, at the same time, we're increasingly just not satisfied with the idea of being just the greenest, or even just the most livable anymore. We want to be resilient, we want to be healthy, we want to be vibrant, we want to be complex, we want to have social justice and social inclusion. You know, cities are far too complex and complicated to single down into one goal, like being the greenest. So my basic message that I started with is resiliency through completeness. And our actual goal is to become the most complete city in the world. And frankly, that might be harder to do by 2020 because uh, there's a lot of aspects to completeness and a, and a broad definition of success. But that's our challenge. And I, I, I leave that for you as, as planners because there's far too much oversimplification out there on what we're trying to achieve in cities these days. I'd encourage you to embrace the complexity of cities that's the thing I love most about them, and the complexity of our planning challenges is the thing I love most about my profession.